Well, standing tall in the skyline of Syracuse on the Syracuse University Hill will be one of the biggest construction cranes in the United States. News Channel Line's Jeff Kulikowski shows us workers started to put the massive crane together today and says safety is job one. Early this morning, tractor trailers rolled in, bringing some key oversized pieces of this colossal crane. It's needed to pick up and hoist the steel trusses to the top of the dome that will hold this new roof. The crane is censored from Germany, from the factory. They can watch every pick that we make via satellites, via GPS. The company SU is renting the crane from will also have someone on site watching everything that goes on with this mighty machine. Part of the 580 foot high boom that will stretch high above the dome roof is here now, but there's much more to come. It'll take about three weeks to fully construct the crane that'll look something like this. The people need to understand that there's going to be some processes that we're going to go through that we're going to talk about. Um, there's this process called knuckling down if it's windy over 38 miles an hour. So there's so much involved just with that, with that one big crane. Sala says they had to build up and reinforce the whole front of the dome to create a pad the crane will sit on for the next five months. What fans will see is different entry points into the building, maybe a different look, right? So that set of stairs that used to go down to the guard shack no longer exists. The walkway from Irving Avenue and the stairs here that lead you up to gate C of the dome are obviously intact. So Sala says the majority of the students will use this walkway to get up to the carrier dome. That same path will also be used by many fans that are coming to dome events. The schedule is really, really tight. There really is no wiggle room in the schedule. Which has them playing the first football game under that new roof September 19th of next year. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. And the trusses should be in place sometime in January. The new roof is expected to be in place around this time next year.